Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a new and beauty video for January 2021. It's my first PR haul of the year. This is where I get to sit down, share with you everything that I received in PR, get to go over new releases or things that will be releasing soon. So happy new year. This is my first video back in the new year. I have a bunch of new content planned and film ready to go. I cannot wait to share with you. I'm on a filming kick, doing two videos a week now, just trying to get out more content for you guys. So I hope you're enjoying that. It's actually New Year's Eve when I'm filming this video, hence why rhinestones, glitter, you know, doing it all today to sit in my home. So I hope you guys had a really fun New Year's Eve despite the circumstances. I normally ring in the New Year at home anyways, just eating some good food, having some drinks. So I hope you guys have had a good start to your New Year. Thank you so, so much for clicking on this video and let's go ahead and get into all things new and beauty. The first package I have here, I just got in the mail yesterday and I was so excited to show you guys this because you guys know my love for oil perfumery and the creators of oil perfumery actually have another website called okcha they sent me a few of their fragrances to test out and you guys when i tell you i am blown away by these fragrances just like oil perfumery they do their impressions of certain designer fragrances but for a more affordable price i think these are around 40 dollars us they do have facilities in new york and canada so you're not going to get dinged with duties if you're in canada like me that's why i love oil perfumery but okcha another brand owned by the same people they reached out and decided to send me some fragrances so i am so extremely happy i have seven fragrances in here they all come packaged like this beautifully packaged super simple and nice and secure the fragrance will be in here i took them all out for this video i have female fragrances male fragrance and unisex fragrance a lot of actual unisex fragrance because that's my personal favorite here is the packaging of the fragrances they all look like this and they're all the extra de parfum and this one is supposed to be like Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I will put all the designer ones because I don't remember offhand what each name corresponds to, but this one's for sure Killian Love Don't Be Shy. And since these are the extra, this has far more potency. These last all day long. They are beautiful. If you love fragrances like me, you must check these out, especially if you're into really high-end or niche fragrances that they do their impressions of. You guys will be so impressed. Like I am actually blown away by these and their lasting ability and how spot on they are to some of these designer fragrances. So this one is Sinful. It's inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. A subscriber told me <laughs> to get this fragrance and oh my goodness if you love escada cherries in the air like i do this is a grown-up version of it literally so much better <laughs> i'm obsessed with the sinful and also i have a couple ones that are supposed to be baccarat rouge 540 if you're familiar the x straight and the regular seven and orphic if you guys like br 540 you will be so impressed by these like spot on they smell and for $40 like I cannot get enough of these. I like these because they are the spray. Oil Perfumery is the fragrance oil, which I do like for travel too, but for a spray, when I first start out my day, I love these. So I'm obsessed with Oksha. I definitely recommend checking them out. I have a couple more ones here that are more for my husband. I did think of him when selecting. So we have Vicious, Ineffable, and then Torrid Day. Another new brand I'm very excited for this is a makeup artist from Toronto, so local to me, and their brand is My Beauty. They kindly sent over their first products they have released. They are a new brand, and it's awesome to support local business. These are My Beauty's Satin Liquid Lipsticks. I love how simple the packaging is, and these are my tones. <laughs> for nudes, we have Sheo, which is such a cute name, So 90s, Bouquet, and Sepia. I'm not sure the scent of this. These remind me of another product. They kind of smell like a plumping gloss that I used previous. Here are the colors. You can definitely tell these are my tones. Love me a good nude lip, and I cannot wait to wear these. Probably use these in my next trying new makeup. And then Laura Mercier sent over a couple packages. Have this beautiful beige nude makeup case. I love this. You'll be seeing what I'm using this case for 
in a future video. I have plans. Then we have the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector and 3-in-1 Sand. And I started using this again when they sent this over and I forgot how good this product was. I used to use this all the time back in the day. Nice light natural coverage, perfect for every day. This color is really nice for my skin tone, so if you're similar to me, 3-in-1 Sand is good. And then I recently tried their Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in a trying new makeup and I have 2W. And this is amazing. When did anyone tell me I would love this concealer? It has good coverage, but it's super hydrating underneath the eye. It looks phenomenal. I absolutely love the formula of that and I can see that becoming a new favorite. And then they also sent over their Pure Canvas Primer, the hydrating version, because I do have dry skin. And then their original translucent loose setting powder which you can't really have enough of. I actually ran out of mine last year and then they sent over their new honey powder, but now I have a backup of the translucent times two, you will see. They also sent over their limited edition little set for the holidays. This is super cute. I think this might've been on sale on Sephora. This one just has the limited edition packaging, same product. Then we have the Prima Ballerina mini eyeshadow palette. Packaging is cute, again on this. Has this gorgeous ribbon on it. And here's what the colors in there look like. Glitters and satins. I think there might be one matte in there. And it looks really pretty and soft. And then the last product we have here is the Velour Extreme Lip Duet. Looks like this. Another packaging for the holidays. These are their Extreme Matte Lipsticks. This is a really pretty pink color that came with it. And then they have a more plum berry tone in there. I can't decide what lip I'm gonna wear for New Year's Eve. Then Too Faced sent over their new Peach Bloom Color Blossoming Lip and Cheek Tints. I also tested these out in my trying new makeup. I would honestly pass on these in addition to the Peach Bloom Color Blossoming Lip Balms. These actually dried out my lips, which is the opposite of what a balm should do. So unfortunately, these products didn't really work out for me, so save your money if you like products like me they're just too sheer and drying it really wasn't my cup of tea these products i'm thankful they did send them over to try so i can let you guys know but that was a miss for me for Too Faced, which honestly doesn't happen too often you guys know my obsession for their matte foundation like it's all i'm wearing <laughs> right now i'm wearing it right now but those were definitely a miss i don't even want to swatch those i'm just going to donate them but if you wanted to see them in action just check out that video i just don't want to waste them so that's why i'm not swatching and then kiss sent over more lashes which i'm obsessed with their magnetic liner and lashes i'm wearing them again today amazing <laughs> like one of the things that blew me away at the end of the year are magnetic lashes i'm a huge fan i didn't think i would be but i am absolutely love them and they also sent over some of their impress manicures i use this one hence why it looks crazy i do not like the press on versions i much prefer the ones you glue on like these ones always pop off for me they're i'm just not a fan of those but i am a fan of their magnetic lashes so they sent me over a couple more pairs we have lure another crowd pleaser which i am in fact wearing today but this time I did cut off a bit of the end in my trying new makeup I wore the full strip these are slightly cut then I also have tempt which looks like this super natural but for New Year's Eve I figured I needed to go big for these and then I also wore you can't even see this because I wore this too this is one of their limited edition designs these are the ones I'm talking about the glue on ones you can see these so another limited edition design for the holidays every time around a holiday season whether it be halloween christmas you name it they come out with these limited edition sets so if you're looking for press on nails for the holiday season check out kiss i wouldn't recommend these ones as i said but i would recommend ones like this that have the glue so just look for the ones that have the glue those are my recommendations the other ones are pretty and i have tried gluing them on before and i think you can actually remove the stickiness to it someone told me and just glue them on but that takes so much work <laughs> so i do much prefer the ones you can just glue on ren sent over their clarifying clay cleanser that's so hard to say this is so difficult the clear calm clarifying clay cleanser you try and say that. 
It's difficult. Clear Clum Clarifying Clay Cleanser. Clear Clum Clarifying Clay Cleanser. I did okay there. So it deeply cleanses and calms, <laughs> as the name suggests, and it's for blemish prone skin. I'm gonna let my husband test that out, but thank you to Ren for sending that. Then I didn't know I was getting this. This is from Shiseido. And inside has a couple interesting products I'm actually gonna set aside for trying new makeup. How gorgeous is she? So this was one of the things that first caught my eye in the package. It doesn't have a name on it. I have to actually look up a lot of this stuff because I have no idea. So here is what the brush looks like. And I think it's gonna be one of those dispensing powder situations because it has this clear little ball <laughs> on the end. It feels so strange. You can see the strangeness of that. Can you feel it through the screen? Things just got weird on my channel. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna set this aside for a trying new makeup. So you're gonna see this in action then. The brush feels incredibly soft, but it just feels super strange. Maybe this is just a brush and doesn't dispense powder and I'm just like being weird about it. It, it seems like it would be one of those things you press powder out, or maybe it's just a brush. <laughs> If it's just a brush, I like it, you know? <laughs> and then we have the Inner Glow Cheek Powder. I'm gonna have to honestly go through all these and pick out some stuff for trying new makeup. Beautiful, beautiful baby doll pink color. Just super sleek and thin, compact. Love that. I honestly don't hear too much about Shiseido. They had that Synchro foundation that was doing pretty well. Other products lately, I haven't really heard too much. So I definitely am curious to try all this in a trying new makeup. And this is one of their whip powder blushes in Sonoya. Looks like this. The lid of it looks like one of those Rorschach tests. Looks like a uterus to me. What does that say? <laughs> Ah, things just getting more and more weird. We have their Invisible Silk Loose Powder, Color Gel Lip Balm. We have some mascara here, Visionary Gel Lipstick, which looks cool. A couple other lipsticks, more mascara, eyeliners. So there is a ton of stuff in here that I'm honestly just gonna pick through and decide what I try in my next Try New Makeup. I kind of think this is just a brush now and I just made a fool of myself. It just has a squishy end for some reason. Hey guys, future Cheryl here. And I just wanted to let you know that that brush is actually supposed to be a brush duo. And that end that I'm playing around with is supposed to mimic your finger. I don't know why you just wouldn't use your finger, but there you have it. And definitely need to use that in my next trying new makeup. All right, next. And then L'Oreal sent over their Lux box for this month. It's been sitting in a warehouse somewhere. <laughs> The Biotherm Anti-Drying Body Milk, which I've been having eczema lately. I actually got this Aveeno one I purchased and it works really well for me. I had redness, which you'll see in videos I actually filmed before this, <laughs> coming up after this, if that makes sense. And my chest was red. This is the next day and it's gone. So, we're, sh <laughs> we're shimming over here and breaking boxes. Okay, this video is just a mess. This is how we're going into the new year. They say how your New Year's Eve is, is how your New Year is gonna be. Am I just gonna be like a hot mess like this? So this is the Biotherm Blue Therapy Red Algae Uplift Night Cream. All skin types here. I've had great success with Biotherm products for the skin. Then we have a few products from YSL. We have their Rouge Volup Shine Collector Oil and Stick, and then their Rouge Pure Couture Collector Pure Color Satiny Radiance Lipstick can't really tell. Like, where have these been? <laughs> They're so dirty. This is that, the holiday collection. That is gorgeous. I feel like this goes with me today. Is this gonna be my color that I decide to wear? Do I wanna go red? Maybe I do. I'm actually gonna set this aside. You'll see if I decide, maybe we'll have an Instagram post up of what we decide to do today. And let's pull out one of these oil and sticks. Cute, love the packaging. YSL is just so nice. That looks like a nice color. Has a little bit of shine to it too. I love the smell of YSL lipsticks. It's like a mango or something. I can't remember the fruit that it's called, but it smells fruity and just nice and light and good. Then Lancome sent over their L'Absolute Rouge Intimate 
Intimate. That makes sense. <laughs> Intimate. All right. Killing me softly and kind of sexy. Let's see their version of kind of sexy, which is like Mac. Packaging's nice. And the fun thing about Lancome. Pop. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. That is pretty too. I don't know what my vibe is going to be tonight. Let me know these colors. What should I have used? <laughs> then in the box, we also have the superhero mascara from It Cosmetics. Actually heard really great things about this. So I'm very curious to test that out. I'll probably test out this mascara and not one of the Shiseido ones just to have a different brand to try. And this I'm also really, really excited about. It's the Kerastase Fresh Affair Refreshing Dry Shampoo. And it is a fine fragrance root and hair refresher. Let's see what the fragrance is like. Kerastase makes some of my favorite hair products. It does smell fresh. I'm like wasting so much. Just try and smell it. It's light, a light scent. It's pleasant. I like that. And the packaging is nice. I love the color. And the last thing I have is from Avon. They sent over their frosted current candle, which I, I burned and it's gone now. So here's the box. I loved it. <laughs> it's gone. My daughter has this in her room. It has this shimmer in it. If I can remember, I'll put in a little clip, but it's their perfumed hair serum, a shimmering serum of sweet apricot and white florals. She saw this and it just looks so girly and pretty to her that she kind of confiscated it. So it's up in her room. And then VDL, which you can get through Avon, they sent their creamy stick jelly, stick gel. Creamy stick jelly, stick gel. I said that right. Packaging looks like this and the color. See, this is the kind of cream cheek product. I like the formula of that because there's some pigment to it. Those Too Faced ones like literally were clear. <laughs> So it would ruin your makeup and not deposit any pigment. Like what's the point? So that blends out really beautifully, has some pigment, but buildable. So that's kind of the perfect kind of cream for me. So I really like the formula of that. That feels really nice. And I think that's honestly everything for my new and beauty for January. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got to check out some things and just laugh at my antics because clearly <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Anyways, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun too. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, happy new year. I hope you guys have an amazing year full of health, happiness, wealth, sending all those things to you through the screen right now. Just wishing you all the best. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.